Apple intelligence is out in the latest iOS 18.1 beta. And so in this video, we're gonna go hands-on with all of the features that are currently available inside of this new beta. Now, let me start just by prefacing something very important. And that is as of right now, not all of the Apple intelligence features are available. And it's also just a developer beta. And so it's not currently available in the public version. Writing tools is one of the bigger features that is available inside of this new beta. And this allows for users to select any text and then choose the writing tools option for the ability to proofread text for spelling and grammatical errors, rewrite the entire selection of text completely with options like friendly, professional, or a more concise tone. And then at the bottom, there are also more options options for summarizing, pulling out key points, making a list, or creating a table. The new look Siri is now available inside of this beta as well. And so what you'll see when you initiate Siri is that new glow around the edges here. And you also will get that on iPad, Mac, and even inside of Apple CarPlay. You can also double tap at the bottom of the display to bring up the new type to Siri interface, which is super handy in my opinion. Like in the keynote, I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, you just think of the alarm example here where you just type in 8 a.m. alarm and now you have one automatically set for tomorrow at 8 a.m., which is just fantastic. Siri can maintain context between requests so that you can ask a question and then reference it in a second reply. So for example, I asked what was the current temperature and then I followed up with asking what the humidity was. Siri will know that you meant in the current city that you're in or in the city that you requested. If you stumble over words, Siri can now follow along even if you shift what you're saying mid sentence. Set a timer for 10 minutes. No, uh, set a timer for eight. Actually, make it five minutes. And you can ask Siri support questions like how to schedule a text to be sent later on your iPhone or iPad or wherever, and it will bring up the supported articles and instructions. In the mail app, there is a summarize button for summarizing any of your incoming emails, but perhaps one of the more useful features is that in your notifications or in the inbox list, you can see those summaries of the emails rather than just the first few lines. Smart Reply also provides quick tap responses to emails that you've been sent with contextual options based on what's in the email. And there's also priority notifications inside of the emails, although I was only able to get this to work on iPad. In Messages, you'll also have Smart Reply options for incoming texts, which analyze the content of messages to offer suggestions of what you might want to say. The Photos app has the ability to create a new memory movie with just a description, like I entered my kids at Disney World and the feature will automatically pick relevant photos and choose some songs, but you can also make tweaks and changes if you want to. Search can find specific moments in video clips and also offer up smart complete suggestions for narrowing down what you're looking for. In Notes and as well as other applications out there, you can record audio and get a transcript along with a summary of your transcript, which is useful for recording lectures or other audio. Also, speaking of recording, phone calls can now be recorded in iOS 18.1. So when you're starting a call, you can tap on the little record button here in the upper left corner, and all participants are notified that the call is being recorded before the recording actually starts. Recorded phone calls are then stored inside of the Notes app, or then you can go and view a written transcription and get a summary generated from that transcript. And you can even search for keywords in that phone call and it'll bring them up pretty quickly and easily, which is an awesome feature. There is a dedicated reduce interruptions focus mode that only shows you important notifications that need attention while filtering out everything else. And there's also a new toggle to turn on intelligent breakthrough and silencing. This would allow for important notifications to interrupt you while muting those that are not so important. And lastly, when reading an article in reader mode in Safari, there is an option to have Apple intelligence automatically summarize that article for you. And that's it. Those are some of the Apple intelligence features that are available right now. Of course, Genmoji, Image Playground, all of those are going to be coming at a later date. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.